Hello and welcome to the first Olympus iSpeed Labs. My name's Chris Robinson and today I'd like to introduce you to the Olympus iSpeed 3 camera. So let's get one out of the case. When you receive your iSpeed 3, it will come in one of these. A tough and rugged Peli case with wheels and a towing handle so you can move it around easily. Let's look inside. Inside the case you'll receive your Olympus iSpeed 3 camera, your controller display unit, there's all the cables and the power supply that you'll need to take high speed video, and there's a space for your lenses. Everything you need to take high speed video is right here. You can connect your camera to a PC or laptop if you wish, using the iSpeed software. But most people find that the controller display unit is absolutely perfect for taking any high-speed video that they need. The key specifications of the camera include a resolution of 1280 by 1024, that's 1.3 megapixels, and a full chip speed of 2000 frames per second. If we window down, we can run at 150,000 frames per second, and in window mode, the FS can take up to a million frames a second. The camera comes with three sizes of memory, 4, 8 and 16 gigabytes, which means you can record up to 5 seconds of high-speed video in your camera. The sensor has quite large pixels, 21 microns, but this gives us really good sensitivity. We have an ISO rating of 4800 in monochrome and 1600 in colour. So let's look at some of the features of the camera itself. At the front of the camera we have an F-mount lens mount with an adjustable back focus mechanism and also a lens release pip. If I rotate the camera, looking at the side you'll see the case is made of solid aluminium and it has multiple mounting holes on both sides and the base of the camera. If I rotate so you can see the back panel, over here we have the power switch, then there's the power input, then the feature connector with multiple trigger and sync inputs and outputs. The trigger input is on a BNC. We have a BNC video output. There's an S video output. There's the compact flash card slot so you can save your video onto CF card. There's the connector for the CDU. There's an Ethernet connector so you can connect your camera to a PC or laptop. And there's a door so you can gain access to the battery compartment to remove and replace your battery if you need to. I'm going to show you how to make a recording using the iSpeed 3 camera. I'm going to do that by dropping a tomato into a glass of water. First thing I have to do is connect the lens. Now I'll put on the connectors at the back of the camera. First, the controller display unit. Second, the trigger. And third, the power connector. All I have to do now is switch the camera on. OK, so I've switched on my camera. It's booted into the home screen. And I'm going to press the start button. As you'll see, all the major controls are shown here along the bottom of the CDU. And today, I want to run at 2,000 frames. So I press the speed. And I press this control to move to 2,000 frames a second. Of course it's gone dark, so I have to adjust the iris of my camera. And as I do, you'll see the luminance histogram moves, because it's showing me how bright or dark the picture is. I think that's a bit too far. Let's just move back. That's perfect. But it does seem that I'm a bit out of focus. So let's press the eye focus control. And as I adjust the focus of my camera, you'll see that the CDU shows with a red highlight exactly when the focus is perfect. I can press the done button now and I can start recording. Let me grab the trigger switch and we're going to create a high speed event in 3, 2, 1, now. OK, the camera has moved straight into the playback screen. I'll press the player button and you'll see there's a bookmark here that was created when the trigger button was pressed. So I can step forward to that bookmark and I can just play through 
to when the high speed event begins to occur. I'll make a bookmark at that point and I'll play through to a suitable point there and make another bookmark. Now I'd like to save that video onto a compact flashcard. Let's press the clip select button. Let's move to the start of the event. I'll press clip start. Let's move to the end of the event and I can press clip end and then I can start the save process. I could if I wanted to type in a name but in this case the camera has provided me with an automatic name. I'll press OK and the camera will save onto the compact flash card. There we go, it's completed the save. I'll press OK and it will quickly give me a preview of the card to show me that my clip has indeed been saved correctly. Now I can take the card out of the camera, I can use that card in a laptop or PC and I can use the Olympus iSpeed software or the Olympus iSpeed free viewer to play back my video footage. Well today I've given you an introduction into the Olympus iSpeed 3 camera. We've connected the camera together, we've made a recording, we've moved instantly into playback, we've seen our footage and we've saved it onto a compact flash card. I hope I've given you an idea of how easy this camera is to use. Well thank you very much for watching and please join me for the next iSpeed Labs.